Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to Books My Quiet Friends. My name's Sydney and today I'm here to bring you a TBR shelf tour. So I've got a few questions from my blog about how many books I have on my shelf that are unread. I figured I would clear this up pretty quickly just by counting all my unread books, which could be intimidating. And also telling you guys that both of the shelves behind me are TBR shelves. When I first found BookTube about a year ago, I guess? Maybe. I just went all in on Book Outlet and other sites buying things that I felt like I had to catch up on. So behind me are the books that either happened because of that or because of hype or some other reason or I just bought them. So The books on my shelves are also in alphabetical order so if you're wondering how I organize my stuff that could be a whole nother thing, but without further ado, here are the books on my shelves. To do this, I am just going to hold up the book and see its title, because otherwise we will be here for years. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. The 100 by Cass Morgan. Across the Universe by Beth Revis. Afterworld by Scott Westerfield. Allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson. All the Ugly and Wonderful Things by Bryn Greenwood. All We Have Left by Wendy Mills. Angel Fall by Susan E. Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendare Blake. Asylum by Madeline Rue. Rowe. Oracle by Jin Rosati. Autonomous by Annalie Newitz. Bad Romance by Heather Demetrios. The Barcode Tattoo by Susan Wynn. Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Megrid Stoll. Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve Chicholke. I'm so sorry. Between the Lines by Jody Picoult and Samantha Veneer. Beware the Wild by Natalie C. Parker. Black Widow Forever Red by Margaret Stoll. Blood Red Road by Maura Young. Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I also have the whole The Mortal Instruments series in alternating covers. On my shelf I have read the first one, two, three, four? Four or five of them. So when I do read them, I want to reread them all. That's why they're on this shelf. Come Home by Lisa Scotland. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith or J.K. Rowling. The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken and Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Don't Close Your Eyes Trilogy by Lisa McMahon. This includes Wake, Fade, and Gone. Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. Emma in the Night by Wendy Walker. Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Every Heart a Doorway by Sean and McGuire. Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. Feed by Mira Grant. The Female of the Species by Mindy McGuinness. The First Time She Drowned by Carrie Coulter. I also have all of the Flowers in the Attic series in these covers. These have two books in each one. Other than the last one, I have read the first three, so that is why these books are also on this shelf. For Darkness Shows the Stars by Diana Peterfriend. Four Weeks, Five People by Jennifer Yu. Glitter by April Lynn Pike. And The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. Gone by Michael Grant. The Good Girl by Mary Kabika. Um, Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. Lefevers? Lefe Lefevers? A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. Half By by Sally Green. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. The Help by Catherine Stockett. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. I love this cover. I'll Meet You There by Heather Demetrios. Illusions of Fate by Kirsten White. An Inheritance of Ashes by Leah Bobbitt. Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice. It's Kind of a Funny Story by the late Ned Vizzini. Jacoby by William Ritter. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Lament by Maggie Sivater. The Leaving by Tara Altabrando. Altabrando? The Light Between Oceans by M.L. Steedman. Little Black Dresses and Little White Lies by Laura Stampler. The Lux by Anna Godberson. The Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepard. 
marked by PC Cast and Kristen Cast, Kirsten, Kristen, something. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. <laughs> the Names They Gave Us by Emery Lord. Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis. Nowhere But Here by Katie McGarry. I also have the second book. Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrope. The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. Of Poseidon by Anna Banks. Almonds by Kelly Armstrong. The Orphan Queen by Jody Menos. The Outliers by Kimberly McCrite. Paper Wishes by Lois Semple. Partials by Dan Wells. 100 Candles and Past Midnight by Mara Bonhagen. Barahagen? Never heard anyone talk about these. Phantom, the Novel of His Life by Susan Kay. I love Phantom of the Opera. This was a gift. I'm so excited to read it eventually. Pretty Little Liars and the First Four Books by Sarah Shepard. Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blankman. The Program by Suzanne Young. Proxy by Alex London. The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. The Rapture by Liz Jensen. The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. I also have the second book. I think it's The Dream Thieves. That's the second one. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Rot and Ruin by Jonathan Maberry. Maybury? Maybe? Rook by Sharon Cameron. Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Clues. Clues? Clues? Shatter Souls by Mary Lindsay. The Silence by Jim Cross. Siren by Kira Cass. Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rash. Something Strange and Deadly by Susan Denard. Stolen Songbird by Daniel L. Jensen. Suddenly Supernatural by Elizabeth Cody Kimmel. My Sweet Adrena by V.C. Andrews. Sweet Filthy Boy by Christina Lauren. Switched by Amanda Hawking. Swoon by Nina Malkin. Sword of Summer by Rick Ray Orden. Um, this is Magna Chase and the Gods of Asgard series. Temptation by Karen Ann Hopkins. Ten Thousand Skies Above You by Claudia Gray. These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Thirst by Christopher Pike. This is volume one. This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Tides by Betsy Cornwell. Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Hahn. Transcendent by Caitlin Detweiler. Trapped in Ice by Eric Walters. Uglies by Scott Westerfield. And The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hopkins. Unwind by Neil Schusterman. The Valiant by Leslie Livingston. Uh, Demons of the Ocean by Justin Somper. This was a gift, and I'm not sure if I'm ever actually going to get to this. I have both The Vincent Brothers and The Vincent Boys, both by Abby Glines. Wait For Me by Carolyn Leach. White Space by Ilsa J. Beck. The Wild Truth by Karine McCandless. The Wildflowers by Reese Andrews. Wither by Lauren Stefaniano. De Stefaniano? De St Wonder by R.J. Palacio. And Wrecked by Anna Davis. Some of the books I'm not including are currently on my TBR or books that are sequels to some of these books that I've hidden here or at my mother's house. While I'm reshelving books, I just found three others, which are You by Carolyn Kepnes, The Young Elites by Marie Lu, and Zodiac by Romina Russell. So just in case you were wondering, there's more. <laughs> So I'm going to close out this video from here. I know, quite a flattering angle. I'm covered in dust. Good times. Um, I have 146 books on my shelves that are not read. <laughs> if you're wondering where all my red books are, they are at my parents. I usually clear up these shelves so I have more room to put things I have no self-control from buying on them. But those are all the books that I have on the shelves behind me when I'm filming. I hope you guys have a good reading week and we will see you next week. Bye!